if you're a South Asian, your long test might have come back normal, even if you can't breathe. Doctors have told millions of Indians their lungs are just smaller because of race. But is that true? Or is medicine missing the real story? Let's unpack the truth. Hey there, I'm Devi Sundar, Mind Body Consultant, and in my channel, I talk about lung health, mental health, and occupational well-being. In this video, I'm going to tackle an important question. Why do South Asians consistently show lower lung function than Europeans and Africans, even when they are young, healthy, and living in a very clean environment? For years, doctors blame pollution, poverty, or body size for lower lung volumes or lung functions in South Asians. But here's the shocker. Studies from UK, US, and India show something strange. The studies from the UK Biobank and Indian Council of Medical Research consistently show 20 to 30% lower lung volumes in healthy South Asians compared to the Caucasians. This owes even after adjusting for their height, age, and sex. Even the British-born Indian children from a wealthy family show 10 to 15% lower lung capacity than the Europeans and Africans. In UK, born in Bradford study followed thousands of children from different ethnic backgrounds. Even after adjusting for the height, income and diet, South Asian kids had a 11% lower FEC and 9% lower FEB1. So what does that mean? FEC is a forced vital capacity. It is the total amount of hair you can blow out of your lungs after taking in that biggest breath possible. It's like filling your lungs like a balloon and seeing how much air you can blow out in one go. South Asians on average blow out about 11% less air compared to the European ancestries, even if they are healthy. Now, what does the FEB1 mean? FEB1 is the amount of air you can forcefully blow out in the first second of that big breath. It measures how fast your lung can push the air out. On average, South Asians blow out 9% less in the first second compared to their white population, suggesting a smaller or a differently shaped lungs. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean a weaker one. And this wasn't just in Bradford. The pattern holds in India, US and Canada. You can refer to this study. Um, I've quoted the paper there by Stipoli et al., uh, published in 2013. So um, you can refer that and uh, get to you know more about the study and uh, the outcomes and recommendations they make. So now, lower lung function in South Asian isn't about environment, air pollution, poverty, social or substructure of their body anymore. It's about the ancestry, evolution, and the medical system that still uses that outdated race correction tools. Over thousands of years, populations have adapted to their environment. Like uh, Tibetans evolved larger lungs for thin mountain ham. West Africans evolved strong, sprinting ability for survival in savannas. And South Asians developed compact chest cavities and lung that suited for the hot, humid climates, where oxygen exchange is naturally easier. Smaller volume, but still efficient, kind of like a fuel-efficient engine. These aren't weak lungs, they are different lungs. The good news of having a, this type of lung in South Asia is alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, a rare genetic disorder that causes early lung damage, is very rare in South Asians. While South Asian lungs are more prone to develop asthma, COPD, and tuberculosis. So here's where it gets dangerous. Medical parameters often apply the race correction factors. If you are labeled Asian, the mission lowers the expected rate by up to 6%. But uh, Asians lump together from a widely different groups like Tamils, Chinese, Nepalese, Sri Lankans, Koreans, Punjabis. So lowering the percentage by 6 percent is scientifically meaningless and this matters because that adjustment can mean lung disease like asthma copd or fibrosis goes unnoticed early stage asthma is missed even organ transplants denied all because your results are seen as normal for your race so what's the solution? Use individual data, not race labels. Genetics, environment, and social history matters more than a tick box. And South Asians need to be included in research so we can stop this uh, misdiagnosed, undertreated, or ignored uh, chronic lung disease.
The American and European thoracic societies now support the race-neutral equations, acknowledging that race-based adjustments are imprecise and may worsen the health inequalities. Instead, they are pushing for the race-neutral lung function equations, personalized medicine using ancestry and genomes, and more inclusion of South Asians in the research. Because right now, less than 2% of genetic research includes South Asian population, despite being a quarter of the world's population. That needs to be changed. In a large study uh, conducted by Leong et al. in 2022, um, where there's the findings of lower lung volumes uh, in large South Asian cohorts, uh, led to the development of the ethnic specific uh, spirometry reference equation, uh, because using the Caucasian norms uh, can misclassify the lung function in South Asian. So they derived this equation, and uh, you can read that paper and uh, get to know how that uh, newly derived spirometry reference equation can greatly improve the prediction of of normal lung function in South Asians, thus filling that uh, long gap of um, appropriate reference values for this ethnic group. And the links are there in the screen, so you can very well go and um, read that in your leisure. So next time someone says South Asians have weak lungs, tell them the truth. South Asian lungs aren't weak. They are just misunderstood because science needs to be smarter than stereotypes and understanding the difference could save lives. If you like this video and felt it informative, share it with your friends or people you care for. And subscribe if you want science that works for everyone. And there is also a new button, the thanks button at the end of this video um, on the screen or below the screen. And uh, if you would like to really thank me for sharing this information, please do hit that thanks button and contribute to the channel. And as usual, stay curious, stay healthy. Until my next video, signing off, Devi Sundar.